Our next guest is Riley. Now, we have several Chihuahuas in the shelter right now, and sometimes people say that they're surprised that we get so many Chihuahuas, but we're going to see in the shelter any dog that's popular, because the more Chihuahuas there are as pets, the tiny percentage of them that end up with no home is the same as other breeds, and, mm -hmm. and Chihuahuas are really popular. Mm -hmm. So we do get a fair number of Chihuahuas. Right now mm -hmm. we have a Chihuahua mix named Mercy. She's 14, you guys have seen her before. We have uh, two tiny Chihuahuas that need to be adopted as a pair who are going to be adopted this weekend. Riley actually has an interview later today, um, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be finalized into an adoption. We never know until we actually sit down and talk to people. Um, because she's tiny, she's got a lot going for her. She's seven, so she has experience. And um, I think she's gonna make someone a great pet. But one of the things that people need to know about Chihuahuas is that um, although they're tiny, um, they can be a little bit stubborn. And so you have to be prepared for uh, a house training challenge in the beginning. Uh, they don't all have the same personalities, obviously. But some Chihuahuas, uh, more often than not, don't like it when it's very cold, don't like to go very far away from home, and um, you have to think about what is your lifestyle, what do you picture doing with your dog, and does um, the dog that you're looking at want to do the same thing? Because they don't really have any say once you adopt them. So it's important that you think about them and can you offer them the type of lifestyle they need. We're gonna take a short break and uh, we're gonna be back with some adoptable cats at Ferret County Animal Control and Pet Adoption Center on Rosemont Avenue. Hope you stay with us.